Hello, my name is Alex Easter, and today I'll be discussing Julian B. Rotter's theory of social learning. Uh, to begin, I will uh, address his early life and talk about how um, that affected the development of his actual theory. And then I will transition into the overview of the theory itself. And then I will continue on to tell you um, how the theory is viewed in today's society. So to begin, Julian B. Rotter was born in October of 1916 in Brooklyn, New York. Um, he is the third son of Jewish immigrant parents, and he grew up during the Great Depression. And as you can imagine, the Great Depression had a great influence on his way of thinking and his way of life. Um, he even states that the Depression powerfully influenced his ability to be aware of social injustice and the effects of the situational environment on people. Um, but Rotter's interest in psychology didn't start until high school when he began uh, reading books by Freud and Adler which later transitioned into Rotter attending Brooklyn College, in which Adler gave seminars and held meetings about psychology. And after graduating from Brooklyn College, uh, Rotter uh, went on to study at the University of Iowa, in which he minored in speech pathology and studied with the semanticist Wendell Johnson, uh, whose ideas had an enduring influence on Rotter's thinking about the use and misuse of language in psychological science. Um, and after getting his, um, after graduating from Iowa University, uh, he attended I Indiana University, in which he got a PhD in clinical psychology. And after achieving that, he um, went on to take an academic position at Ohio State. Uh, where he began his first major accomplishment, the social learning theory. And in 1954, uh, he published a book called Social Learning and Clinical Psychology. And in this book, he laid out the basic tenets of his social learning theory. Um, the main idea of which is that personality is really the interaction between a person and his or her environment. And that personality does not reside within an individual independent of the environment he or she is in. So basically, uh, what he's saying is that um, our personalities are uh, very much dependent on the environment that surrounds us, uh, whether it be the social setting or just the people that surround us. Uh, our personalities differ from situation from, to situation. And according to Rotter, personality is a relatively fixed group of dispositions to react to situations in a certain manner. Um, he stresses that most learning takes place in social situations with other people. Um, an example of his theory would be uh, if an indi individual was apprehensive about going somewhere because he or she had a bad experience uh, the last time they visited said place. Um, on the other hand, the same thing could be said if the individual was excited to go somewhere if they had a good experience the last time they visited that place. Um, so let's transition into um, how the theory is viewed today. And um, it is honestly very apparent uh, that Rotter's theory can be used in today's society as everyone's personality is affected by their environment in some way, shape, or form. Um, depending on the individuals you are surrounded with, uh, you may act in a different manner. Uh, compare the way you act around your parents to the way you act around your friends. Um, generally speaking, uh, you have a drastic personality change in that regard. And, um, and it's not just the individuals that surround you uh, that can affect your personality. Uh, it's the social setting as well. As uh, Again, I want you to compare uh, the way you act in different, set, different social settings, such as uh, a business meeting versus um, watching TV at your home, in your home. Um, I know personally, if I was in a business meeting, I would, um, uh, I would be very serious and uh, very content and, and wanting to get things done. Whereas if I was just watching TV at home, I'm relaxed, uh, laid back, uh, just kind of having fun and enjoying myself. Um, another thing, another thing to compare would be like a, a doctor's office versus a restaurant. Um, it, when you're in the doctor's office, uh, things can be very serious, and uh, you're wanting to figure out um, what is wrong and the actions that need to take place. Um, and in a restaurant. Um, you can kind of uh, relax and talk to people around you and just enjoy yourself and have a good time. And so uh, normally people will, again, act drastically. 
depending on those different social settings. Um, so to summarize Rotter's theory of uh, social learning, um, Rotter's early experiences in life are what helped him shape and create his social learning theory, um, in which states that our personalities are influenced by uh, our, the environment that surrounds us. And um, Rotter's theory can be and is applicable to all moments in our life.